Hey, Ray Klaus here. Welcome back for more Mother 3. Last time, we gathered up a um, search party of sorts. Um, we were in Nava. On our way finding her, though, we found a red scrap of cloth and some really somber music playing. And we... Anyway, um, this episode, after putting off the um, reconstructed caribou, we're going to be heading out this way and see where those place guys have gone. All like these aircraft. Uh, I don't understand how that thing is flying. It, it doesn't even have any wings of any kind whatsoever. The gear isn't crumbled, there's no way to get across, so unfortunately now we have to backtrack. Guys, I don't get what it is with that skycraft. I mean, like, how is it able to fly without wings? Well, it's I guess there's just something about that kind of technology I just don't understand. Flint! We found the kids. They seem to have fall upon the river and At least they're safe. I'll get the pony. Okay. I'm Bony. Aww, Pony is sad because he's leaving the party. Oh well, we better go check on the kids just to make sure they're alright as well. That's kind of weird. It has to be a good father after all. Oh, Blit, Gusta. This way, this way. Okay, so we're gonna be going up that way and turn up. Stay near the campfire. Tag. Dot dot dot. I made some lint. Lint and tea. Lint tea. It can't possibly be weirder than gunpowder flavored tea. Haha, <laughs> I, I swear I'm not making this up. There is a gunpowder flavor tea. Please, have some, it'll warm you up. Here, everyone else should take a break. Get warm, too. That's the kind of just so I mean, tea is good every once in a while. Yeah. I kind of like um, a, a Kelsman tea myself, personally. But this is my favorite kind of tea. I guess they still haven't found Hinawa. Where the heck could she be? That's what I'm wondering. Duster, what do you got? You're gonna stay there, okay? Whatever, like. Okay. But well, now I have the Eastern Warm Pursuit with the fire. So you'll wind up worse off than her. Oh, I wonder where Klaus and Lucas are uh, uh, wherever. In any case, I'm just glad they're okay. Alright, Fiel. So, I wonder when they'll, when they'll get to eat when um, their mom is back. I think I'll be back soon. So do I. Nope. Okay. I believe we gotta talk to you. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, just gotta talk to the boys. No. Flint! Yep, sure enough. What's up? Flint! I'm not sure what to say. But stay calm and hear me out. I have good news and I have bad news. What do you want to hear first? No. Let's start with the good news first. Hey, what is it? How about some giant struggle thing? It's gonna make for a great weapon. I figured you'd probably use it. A struggle thing? Wow, where did you find such a thing? That's the bad news. The bad news is... It's where I found the Drago Fang. It was in your...
It was pierced through your wife's heart. What? Uh... Probably a time for lightning. Went. Let's try to stay calm. And the only reason Klaus and Lucas are safe and sound now is because they now risk their life to protect him. Wow. Talk about an amazing mother. Uh, it's a shame he's gone now. Flint. Leave me alone. Dude, have you lost your mind? Flint. Dude, you just truck one of your own. I'm gonna say, please try to pull yourself together. Dude's gone berserk. Flint, what are you doing? Those Lucas are rocking. Oh, one clean blow to the back of that head. Can't say he didn't have it coming, but still. To lose the one you love in that way. I feel bad for Flint. There's no reason he should have gone berserk like that. Jeez. No one's had ever been thrown into Tasmili's jail before. You have the honor of being the first. Kind of odd how he's the one that's being the first, especially since in olden days, like if a prison structure was built, one who the ones who built are usually the first inmates. You get you get an old we about a view walloping, but they're all right now. Valhanawa. I can only offer my deepest condolences. Still, why would a drug attack someone with such friendly creatures? That's what I want to know. Take it easy in here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try and get some sleep. Draga thing was stuck in Hanawa's chest. Hold on to it for you. You get out of here. Come by. Come come drop by my house and get it later. Don't forget now. Yeah, it's really sad. Like, if he, someone he really cared for just dies in that way. And, like, nobody really knew how to cheer him up. Because like, nobody um, had that same thing happen to them. It appears to be unused for a long time. So we yeah, what we gotta do here is we gotta check everything. Dad, it's me, Klaus. I told Lucas to come too. He's been crying at mom's grave all the time. Dad, I'm gonna leave this apple here. 
The core might be hard, but... The core. The core might be hard to eat, but be sure you eat it. Okay... I'm gonna get stronger! I'm gonna get so strong, even Drago's will stand a chance against me! Uh, good luck with that. Dad, I... And he just ran off. Okay, um, let's just take this apple and eat it down to the core. Okay. A hand file. Okay, let's use that on the, um, lock. <laughs> We're the first, yeah, Flint is the first in, um, Tasmania to be thrown in jail. Now, and he's also has the honor of being the first jailbreak. And Val became unusable. Of course, it was just used to pick a lock. Flint. I'm not, I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to, what happened to Hinawa was terrible night. Hold him. No, I can't read. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Hinawa's burial ended around his name. Lucas has been crying in her grave ever since. This full of heart seems like it's breaking too. Well, that'd be about how I feel if something would happen to Sam. Okay, so I guess we're gonna work, um, Captain Hanal's grave here. Now, I'm just gonna say real quick, um, I apologize if there's not really gonna be much fighting in this, uh, as far as this is gonna be story driven, sort of so, but, yeah. I'm gonna get that out there. Thank you. We can forget happy things. You can probably forget sad things, too. People have the power to forget. Yeah, that is true to an extent. We do have the power to forget things, be it positive or negative. And I'm I'm just not really sure that this is gonna be an event that anyone's gonna forget anytime soon. Yeah. I thought you said I thought you said anything could come true. As long as you're afraid from the bottom of our hearts. Mom can't even punish me anymore now. I I don't want it like this. Wow. Lucas is taking it and her death especially hard. Oh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while. When I started rushing here, I heard about an hour. Just had a wonderful time. Just after I had a wonderful time with my grandkids. Sorry. Say, come to think of it, first off, since he know with you, he said he was going to see you, but then he never came back. He did talk about um, going after that Drago. It's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me, false one out of ten. This detestable drug I'm trying to. No! You're gonna take that homemade knife to go to the mountains and kill a Drago? It's a good thing you're raising to be honest, Lent. It's not honest to think a handmade knife to kill a Drago. Yeah, why didn't you stop him? I wanted to go to, but he said no, because he was going alone. Alec! Uh, but, in all fairness, uh, well, uh, shouldn't have gone up to fight him and shot him alone. Seems Klaus is heading to the mountains to kill Drago and kill his mom. 
We're in a race against time. This can't be any ordinary drive that we're dealing with here. We need, uh, we need proper equipment first. Get the weapon to fight Drago's red. Hurry to my place. Come to my house after you've got yourself a weapon. Yeah, pretty sure we know where you live. Yeah, remember that one dude said like, he would hang on to the Drago thing for us? Well, yeah, that's what we're gonna have to be going after before we um, head out to um, stop, stop from doing anything foolish. See, first we're gonna talk to our good friend Mapsen. There you go. Where's Alex? Uh, there you go. Alex? You're out there, okay. Alex's home is right up there. First, I believe we need to be heading out this way. Because... I believe this is where we need to go for the um, job of thing, but... Something else right here is pretty useful. Right, I'm here. The Thunder Bomb! Okay. Infinite amount of Thunder Bombs. Thunder Bombs are actually decent in the snow, right? I can feel it. That just means I'm myself. Good of you to come. You are the one who taught me my uh, oh my cute little unsavory words for you. Unsavory words where they are. Okay. Okay. I believe this is the place we need to go to. Now, uh, so sorry, I don't remember this area. Hey! Who the hell are you? Wow, such magnificent, marvelous things! Uh, we're gonna really remember that guy for later. Just, just trust me, re remember him for later. Alright, oh, it's here we're supposed to go. Just take this and go. This is the Drago thing. Hey, it's a weapon. So they appears through the appears a tough I don't know, Drago it is a Drago say. Another weapon that can beat a Drago. Here we got the Drago thing! Awesomeness! I don't know this might be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. Yeah, as tough as it might, as it might be to accept. Yeah, we need it. Okay. I see it. Equip the play charm. All right. I'll take this running bomb because it'd be useful. This nut, though, not very useful. As I recall, it doesn't feel much HP. But all that being said. Um, we made a fair amount of progress this time around. Like I said, I'm, I apologize if there's no fighting in this episode, but... Yeah. Next time, while Let's Play Mother 3, we'll be heading out to, um, Alex, um... We'll be heading out to Alex's house at the very edge of town. See you guys then.